What's up everybody? Coming to you from my family server, Crafting with the Family. We started this world a few few months ago and it's um it's a 1.20.5 world. And we only have a few add-ons. We have the mini map mod and full map mod. Uh the link is in the description of this video. Uh the other thing I have on here also is uh of course cheat cam. Okay. Um, we primarily use this just for looking at our builds, save us from having to fly around or build scaffolding or something to get a good view. This is our spawn. So pretty much every world that we start off uh, with, we make a sp quick spawn base, okay? Um, it's not too stocked, it does have some stuff, nothing real major, some basic, basic gold stuff that we've picked up. We planted some bamboo. Basic field, you can come in and harvest. It's just potatoes and wheat. We didn't have any carrots at the time. Our sugar cane farm. Um, you know, small animal farm in the event you needed to grab some sheep or whatever. And then basic, basic staircase mine. We didn't put a whole lot of effort into this mine uh, only because, you know, we were. This is just the basics, right? We did a little bit of exploring as we hit these caves and things like that. Um, but we didn't go down. I didn't go all the way down to Diamond or anything like that because we were not uh, expecting to go anywhere. We did find a geode. Um, but other than that, I mean, real basic mine uh, just to get us some iron. As we make our way back up top, now that brings us into the later part of our game here so we'll hop over here did you get your cape I got mine for the 15th anniversary I love it I think it's the coolest cape ever so this is my wife's shop she sells all types of food See? baked potatoes um, pie pie pork, beef, so, yep, she sells it all. All right, moving right along. Right over here is my son's shop. Now my son, he's responsible for all enchanted books. Um, he's a little slow right now, but as you can see, we got the most important one. Got mending, silk touch, and then he's still moving. And it's still early in the game. We haven't gone to the end yet. We don't have wings. Okay. Um, we're just... We, we've been to the nether and gotten things down there. But nothing else major yet. Alright. Over here is more of my son's base. As you can hear, he's got villagers in there. I'm not real sure how to get in here, actually. He doesn't seem to have a door. Hmm. Well, we'll have to save that for another day. Obviously, there's a way in from the top. Okay. And then this is his main base. Just his glorious uh, storage system. Um, he's still, like I said, bringing in villagers. He's getting them set up. Um, I don't even know how to get to his villagers probably up that way I don't know all right so as we make our way over towards the my base and my wife's we go through my son's gates and the first thing we come to is that you can see right in front of us this is my villager breeder um, I do have my own villagers but they're for very specific purposes we'll get to them in a minute and their output is right here um, up there as you can see <laughs> you just saw an iron golem fall to his death um, that is an iron farm over here we'll come back to those buildings in a second that's my son's newest build he's built over here by me and as you can see down there is a bamboo farm now this is my stacked farm okay so it is a one chunk uh, with multiple farms okay so let's head on up okay so up here we have our bamboo farm 
Okay. Next level. Next level, we have a melon and pumpkin farm. And then below that is our slime farm. Highly productive slime farm. Below the slime farm is a two-layer villager crop farm. Then we have cactus. And then we have open space. I have future plans of adding a kelp farm and a sugarcane farm. This is all going to be in this one stack. So we'll drop on down. Okay. The next stop is actually something that we use regularly right now because I don't have an enderman farm. This is actually a skeleton farm. I'll go back in the cheat cam. See? Got a nice basic skeleton farm. Goes right on, drops right on down here. Up and over, drops right in front of us. And we have so many drops. So, that's the next layer. And the final layer. This is the bottom. Let's take care of this guy real quick. Ah. Hello, my friends. So that's the bottom. We're all the way down the bedrock. So that's the one chunk basic farming is what I'm doing there. So we can see different layers as we look through and pass our way up. Tried to keep it visible so we could get a good view. Okay, so this was my starter base. Super simple. Nothing major in here to show off. My nether portal is built into the wall here, and then this is my mine. And the one thing I'm going to show you as we go all the way down, the diamond level, is all the way out here. So down this tunnel, as you can see, this is created using a tunnel borer. This is what it looks like. You know, it's a basic, simple design, pretty much what uh, Mumbo Jumbo used in Hermitcraft season seven, I think it was, uh, when he was going after the mycelium resistance. Yeah, I use this. It's very simple. I use it to collect my cobbled deep slate uh, and diamonds. So, I mean, you yeah, know, just hit the note block and away it goes. Boom. But pretty simple. I mean, you know, it really drives right on through. I mean, I can't complain. Out here, I have my water stream. It goes to my sorting system that I'll show you in a minute. But basically, I throw everything in here so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Um, throw it in that chest and it goes up a water stream to the sorting system, which I'll show you guys next. Now that we have the power of our running beacon back, we'll get up here to the sorting system. So up here, I have a huge bulk storage system and then up top I have individual item sorting. So. Down here, I have the Impulse SV item filters, okay, set up for bulk storage. So yeah, so that's what it looks like on both sides here. Uh, and as you can see, I still have a ton of slots that I'm not even using yet. Right now, the, the hopper chain goes right into an item elevator and takes it up to the individual item sorter or multi-item sorter, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the Mysticats, uh, item sorter, and it can do m multiple items at one time. It, it's not as efficient as that giant one, um, like I get items stuck here, you know, it, it happens, I can't really do a whole lot about it. Every now and then it jams if it's fed with too many items, so you just gotta be careful and make sure that... Things like that don't happen. Usually when I'm in here playing a lot, I don't have that problem. Um, all of my farms feed into here. So the one chunk farm, which is out over there by those trees, <clears throat> everything comes by water stream, okay, into this system. And I can also, if I'm up here, I can throw things into here. I like it. It, it works for what I needed to do. This is the actual water stream that feeds the item uh, uh, sorting system. So yeah, that's my big old warehouse. So we saw the villager breeder over there. I have a few villagers that I use for special uh, trades. 
I promised my son I would not, uh, yeah, my, this is supposed to be a, a 3x3 door, um, I don't know what happened, it, for some reason stopped working, so I gotta fix that. I promised my son I would not, uh, get a mending villager, and I, I would buy from him and stuff like that, so, I have been doing that, but, I do trades to get my, you know, this is my, I, when I need quartz, so I got him traded all the way up. I got my farmers. Um, I don't. I have these guys fully traded up. I can get all my diamond tools. And actually, this one, the axe is really good for this guy. Sword, not so much. Um, and then this guy has a shovel and a pickaxe and a hoe. So I can get all my diamond tools. And then I can get all my diamond armor. Okay, and this guy's my looting three guy, so you need that. So, other than that, I mean, pretty simple. They're annoying, they're very loud. And then over here, we're building a new village. Just making a little medieval town. We built a watchtower. Mm, I don't know if I'm actually going to put anything in here. Uh, I was thinking about maybe just putting some storage and stuff up in here. It's, uh... You know, just a simple design. It's my design. I just wanted a little watchtower. So, yep. Comes to a point. Maybe we'll use it for, like, jumping off uh, once we once we go and get Elytra. Let's see. Over there, that is a sawmill that goes with this town. Let's see if I can clutch. And I did it. Yeah, so this is this is a, supposed to be, like, a sawmill. You know? Water wheel and everything. I think it looks pretty cool. My wife did a heck of a job. Wrapping up this tour, we'll head over to my wife's uh, enormous village that she's built. Now here's her stables. Don't know why there's a cow in there. That's interesting. My wife does conventional farming. She doesn't do like villager powered or anything like that. So she she farms all this by hand. All by hand. All right, um, so as you can see, we'll take a quick view from up here. She's also a very big fan of the mud block. I'll show you the first redstone project she ever did. Uh, there's, again, my stuff, my iron farm, my massive storage system. All right, so let's head on into my wife's house. Her pride and joy, this thing is awesome. So here's what we got. This is her first level. Uh, her kitchen, uh, dining table. So she keeps all her food in here. Like I love what she did with the banner. So it looks like a towel at the sink. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So this is her whole downstairs, her living room with her giant fire. This takes you outside to her little deck area or patio area. In the fire pit that we had already walked by. We'll go downstairs first. In her basement, she does all manual storage. Okay, so she she individually sorts her items. She's a lot more organized than I am. This is her furnace. She cooks food, bricks, everything in here. And then what she can do is throw some items in there, flip the switch, and then take an item out of there and get the XP out of the furnace. Little trick to remember that. You put a, le a lever on here, you hit that, and what that does is it locks the hopper underneath so that any produced items end up here, okay? And then you can take those items out and all of the XP that's inside this furnace, um, that's been collected in this furnace as you smell items, will come out all at once. My wife has another exit. This takes you back to the front of her house down by the water more decoration and and storage um, this is for her shop so that I showed you earlier now in here in here more storage another room uh, she's oh keeping armadillo scoots cool <laughs> and then employees only. She's funny. Uh, back in here, she has her mud room. So, 
as you can see, she's got a whole bunch of mud. But yeah, she built... This is her first redstone ever. And she loves it. She absolutely went all out. You know, she put all the all the bottles and everything. She, I mean, look at this. She's crazy. And she did it the right way. She filled these bottles to the top like you're supposed to so things don't get all messed up. And then it fires the bottles out at, a, at her. And she sits here placing and she turn, turns out a whole bunch of mud. And I could tell you, like, her mud path, I can remember how to get out of here. This way? Yeah, this way. This mud, this is all hers, this packed mud. She she did all this. So, she made all that mud. I, I'm really proud of her. She never did redstone. She's, a, she's more of a builder and decorator. But I'll tell you, she did a heck of a job. I'm really proud of her. All right, and then going to her upstairs. This is her bedroom. Huh. I never noticed that before. And this is another balcony overlook. And this is her enchanting area. So, very nice. We've done quite a lot over the past few months, uh, and as we continue on here, we'll be heading to the end and get us some ender chests and kill the dragon and all that fun stuff that goes with the end. But that's going to do it for us today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode to see what the crafting with the family server is like, and I hope to see you in my next episode. Thanks. Bye. Bye.